Hello, Marcus here from m1fitness.com. I want to talk about some of the yo-yo dieting trends that I see. Um, first one is usually, uh, first and foremost, is the unhealthy relationship with food. So people that yo-yo diet typically don't have the best relationship with food, um, around food, kind of mental, physical, emotional stuff that's all tied in there. Food is, it's a big, it's a big thing. Um, very, very entrenched in our society. So uh, that's that's the first thing that we want to look at. The second is um, unrealistic ex expectations. So people that yo-yo diet typically have this fast weight loss at the beginning, and then um, they tend to plateau, it tapers off, but they get this kind of fast bump right out of the gate. So their expectations when it comes the second time around, third time around, their body doesn't bounce back as fast as it first did their expectations are kind of out of whack. So we're after this long-term piece, not this uh, short-term yo-yo, uh, short-term diet. Um, so slow, slow and steady wins the race with fat loss. Um, these people also tend to be impatient. So I've got an event in two weeks, so I'm just gonna starve myself um, or whatever that kind of quick and easy route is. They're gonna take it and they tend to be kind of impatient and unrealistic with those goals. Um, another one, another kind of physical aspect that I see for men especially is they tend to develop uh, moves. So they get like breast tissue like a, a woman would and they their body composition kind of just uh, goes to shit. And then in the, on the women side of that, it's, it's usually accumulation of body fat in the lower body, uh, kind of hips, butt, thighs, and then in that tricep region too, that's common uh, amongst uh, men and women. So I see those, kind of those fat deposits in the triceps, uh, the chest for men, and then for women, it's more so lower body and that tricep region. Um, another thing is uh, the hormonal aspect gets thrown off a little bit by that yo-yo phase. So that's why you see kind of those body fat uh, deposit trends. And then uh, the last one is they're usually really, really heavily under muscled. So they've gone through all these yo-yo phases and in those phases, they've lost a lot of their muscle tissue and they just don't gain it back. So um, that's another reason why it's harder that next time around to lose a weight is because muscle is metabolically active and it helps us burn lots of calories. So um, kind of just that base level of muscle just keeps going down, 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 and you really shoot yourself in the foot with that um, long-term and long-term results-wise with uh, body composition and just health in general. So uh, if you guys have any questions, post them in the comment section below. And uh, thanks for watching the video. See ya.